Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. I'm back. What it do? If you were a returning subscriber, welcome back, family. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment after this video. Let me know how I can make this channel better and what I can do to make these videos work more for you. Let's get back into the book of self where we last left off. Today, we're going to talk about the keys to shamanism, how to use shamanism in your everyday life and business, so personal and business. Before we get started, I'm going to pull out Hybrid Manual. You can get this book for free on my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Or you can order it from our boutique, hbsxpopup.com, and get it directly from me. So, without further ado, the keys to shamanism. A shaman is a person regarded as having access to and influence in the world of good and evil spirits. Right now, you are watching a video by a spirit. I am a spirit. The person who I'm talking to right now, you're a spirit. Spirits are all around us and how we interact with spirits is what we'll get from the spirit in return. What does that mean? How, how can you build on that? Uh, one of my favorite quotes, and it's actually from the rapper MF Doom. He probably quoted this from someone else for sure, but I know it from him. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. And what that means is in order for one to be in a, a position of absolute power, one must have done corrupt things. And also, if you have absolute power, you are in turn a corrupt person because it takes corruption to even reach a state of absolute power over everything, over everyone. So the life of a shaman is built on gaining power and manipulating and using power. Now, shamans, just like any other regular person, there's good people and there's bad people. There's good shamans and there's bad shamans. Um, and Having access to a lot of power uh, depends on what you will use with it can be a positive thing and it could be a really negative thing. When, when you put people into the equation of what you're doing and your life is regarded as something that you either are serving self or you're serving people, one must do things to the absolute highest of their ability. If you serve yourself, you must serve yourself more than you serve the people and if you serve the people you must serve them more than you're serving yourself so you got to know a good balance between what works for you in your position and no path is wrong serving self can be a good thing also so never look at being selfish as something that's negative if you are serving yourself in a way where you're focusing on building your resources and you're, fo you're focusing on helping yourself and your situation so that you can honor others later on when you in a better position, then serving yourself is a good thing. Now, sometimes serving yourself can be negative if you're serving yourself only to have control over other people and, and manipulate other people. Because even serving humans, you can do the same exact thing. You can be so good at serving the people that that gives you a lot of power and then people will let you manipulate them. So there's, there's something in that where you have to really see the fine line between serving self and serving, serving the people because it doesn't matter which path that you take, one can be manipulated for negative. So do with that information what you will. The universe encourages all things to follow a path of power. Inspiration, simplicity, exchange, and conceptions are sources of power. So think about that. Simplicity, to have something, to have a concept that you can sell to someone that's simple. Like, I'll give you an example. Coffee mugs, selling coffee mugs. Everybody drinks some kind of liquid. Everybody likes seeing pictures of something that represents who they are on a coffee mug. You sell enough coffee mugs, you can become a millionaire, a billionaire. Power, now you have power according to what other humans choose to have as a means or a representation of power. Always remember, simplicity can equal a lot of power exchange the exchange of power for more power think about it like this if you come to someone with a good pitch for a business right you've already done your due diligence by scaling your business showing that the idea that you have is good or just who you are as a person is a good person and you want to take out a loan with someone um, you know, maybe a family member, you want to back it up by having the track record showing, hey, I'm a good person. I'm good for returning the money for that loan. You know, this situation can work in many different ways. So exchanging power for more power. 
a loan is more power because they're giving you more money than what you're putting into the pot. You might be putting a down payment to get a large sum of money, or you might be putting in the actions that, hey, if I do this for me, you can do me a favor. It's always a, a way where you can exchange power, but it's just knowing what what to put there, what to trade, and also what, what your track record shows from your past. Conception. So one in one way in business, a concept is good is if you have an idea that you can use to patent. Patent, th therefore you might not be able to do an entire business, but if you have an idea, you can patent that idea and sell it to someone who has the power to, to commit to a project that you might not be able to have the power or afford to be able to do. So concept concepts that you can create, you can build and, and scale from just simply having the idea and selling it to someone who has the means to do so. These are all ways to generate power. And because you sold that concept to someone, they can give you the money and now you have more power or you have more money. So, and also in the beginning to decide what is power to you, whether it be money, network, resources, find out where your base of powers is at and that's what you work towards for the rest of your life in regards to your personal life and your business. As leaders, we must exchange our power and create concepts that can be birthed to bring a new set of ideals. The positives in being a shaman or using, basically a shaman to me is an entrepreneur of the past that in our modern day, shamanism is really more of like a spiritual thing. But in the past to me, it's just like an entrepreneur. Everyone in the village did they, they typical jobs and skills. And the shaman was just off doing his own thing for the sake of the village. You know, the one guy who just, or gal, you know, he's just kind of out there just doing his own thing, following his own path. Always come in with fresh new ideals to help the benefit of the community and, of course, yourself first. Because that's who it starts with. If it can benefit you, then it can benefit others. Finding that missing piece in the reality that um, can be fulfilled by yourself and your thoughts. You can simply gain power by observing who has real power. But like I said before, you have to understand who really represents power to you and what is a representation of power to you. As in, what is a tangible thing or what is a non-tangible thing that represents power and how can you work towards having a lot of it? As an entrepreneur, you are a modern day shaman. It just really comes down to that. One must really take a path alone, almost be a trailblazer in being an entrepreneur because you're doing something that hasn't been done before or your concept is something that takes something that's old and makes it brand new, refreshes it, brings it back to life. That is the, the power of a shaman is to alchemize things, make one, make one thing a bunch of things or make a bunch of things one thing. That turning trash to valuables, Midas touch you know, type of energy. Here's just some ways that you can um, build up your connection with being a shaman. So one, stare at your reflection. Two, look at the shadows of everything. Three, look at the outline of reality. Four, look directly at things and look indirectly at things. Five, picture every man as a woman and vice versa. And six, Imagine yourself shape-shifting into anything. You know, you gotta be impeccable. When, you, when you're when uh, you in the reality that is, it just seems so real, but in, in retrospect, I feel like more people are realizing every day that we control what reality is and what it looks like. So understand that even around you, like in, in hybrid manual, we're set into these propagated roles, but it takes one to really step outside of themselves even, not just out of the reality, but out of themselves and go beyond even observing self, but just being. Um, to be a good entrepreneur, you just have to be an entrepreneur. You really have to just be expressing yourself when necessary, you know, not really pushing the ideals on others, but really just cleaning it up and making it look good so that when you present it, the idea is clear, people understand. And this goes just beyond business, but when you're presenting anything to anyone in your personal life and coming to someone about something where you could just be simply helping them out, when you have a clear understanding of yourself, 
saying things to people will also be very clear. And that's pretty much it for today's episode, y'all. Please click that like button, leave a comment on the video, let me know if this helps you or not. And also, please subscribe and share this video with someone that you think it will help. It's Lord Shoe. I'm out, y'all. Holla!